Using an ultrasoft sponge lightly dampened with DI water, begin by wiping the AMAT and Dura degas chamber. Lightly dampen a 360 diamond scrub pad with DI water and proceed to scrub 5 to 10% of the degas heater in a controlled back and forth motion. Ensure to unload the 360 diamond scrub pad onto the Ultrasolve sponge. This unloading procedure is an important step which will allow you to repeatedly use the same diamond scrub pad throughout the entire PM. During the scrubbing process, use a lightly dampened Ultrasolve sponge to wipe the deposition off of the degas heater. This step will allow you to take advantage of cost savings and eliminate the countless number of standard fab wipers that would normally be required to perform this PM. Before proceeding to the center portion of the heater, insert an ultrasolve swab into the center vent hole. Continue to scrub the remaining area of the degas heater using the same technique. Notice how the scrub pad can be folded in order to effectively remove deposition from difficult surfaces such as the degas heater outer ring. Be sure to continue using the Ultrasol sponge to wipe deposition off the degas heater and to unload the diamond scrub pad. Notice how this procedure is a very clean and safe technique that does not require using a lot of DI water which helps to recover the degas chamber in an efficient manner. Observe how standard fab wipers are used to create a protective barrier, preventing particles from contaminating the underside of the degas heater. Using the same technique shown previously, use an FT pen with 360 diamond scrub belt and lightly dampen with DI water. Proceed to scrub the hard to reach areas of the degas heater. As the diamond scrub belt begins to load up with deposition, rotate the belt over the pen to a new fresh area as necessary. Before moving on to the final wipe portion of the PM, dampen an HT5790S mirror wipe with IPA and wipe down all areas of the degas heater. It is good practice to replace gloves with a fresh set prior to performing the final wipe portion of the PM. Saturate a mirror wipe wiper with IPA and proceed to wipe down the entire degas chamber. Repeat this step using the remaining mirror wipes to effectively wipe down all areas of the degas chamber, including the top reflector plate. Use a mirror swab saturated with IPA to wipe hard to reach areas. Using the same techniques already shown, clean the degas chamber lift ring. Complete the degas chamber PM by using proper procedures and safety guidelines to return the chamber back to production. Here's an example of how our high precision PM technique was able to effectively clean the AMAT Endura degas chamber with third generation heater. FoamTac International's high precision preventative maintenance techniques can be used on many critical chambers throughout the fab, such as implant, CVD, etch, PVD, and more, with the same positive results.